Hi friends and welcome to the video. It's your vet Amanda and happy 2024. Today's video is all about my 2024 goals, how I'm trying to be the best version of myself in 2024, not just personally, but as a veterinarian, how I'm working to be the best possible version of myself as a new grad in this profession. What's absolutely crazy is that I'm getting to the point where I don't know if I can say new grad anymore. I'm approaching my eight month anniversary of working as a vet, although I'm probably gonna keep milking it at least until my first year out. But either way, 2024, starting the new year was really exciting for me. I always love the feeling of a fresh start of a new year. I don't necessarily set like new year's resolutions for myself, but I do try and set goals, not only for the upcoming year, but just for the future and then reassess goals that I had set in the past, see where I'm at, if I need to adjust them, you know, so on and so forth. But this year, 2024, was the first new year that I was a working professional. Every year, my new year's goals really revolved around like surviving another year of school. And this was the first year that I, you know, wasn't leaving the Christmas holidays and the new year's celebrations and starting a new school year. I was just going back to work and <laughs> continuing on as a new grad vet. And it was really cool to have to like set these goals in almost like a different mindset this year versus how I've always set goals in the past. So this video is more so just holding myself accountable for my goals for the upcoming year, sharing them with you guys. So we are going to be going through my professional goals as well as my personal goals for 2024. As always, grab a drink, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's get into today's video. So starting off with my professional goals, since a lot of you guys are in the veterinary profession watching these videos. So setting professional veterinary goals for 2024 was honestly quite challenging because as a new grad, you know, I feel like I have tons of goals still that I want to achieve just because I'm so new into my career I'm still learning so much and I honestly feel like I'm growing every day that I feel like, you know There's so many things that I can evolve into into the future But honestly a lot of the goals that I have for 2024 revolve around my mental health One of my big ones is that I'm really trying to set boundaries for myself and try not to stay late as much as possible That kind of ties into another one of my goals, but just becoming more efficient as a veterinarian, whether that be, you know, staying on top of my records through the day, creating templates for myself so that when I do go to do my records, a lot of it is just like copy and pasting and changing certain little aspects of that template and allowing myself to leave on time to not bring work home with me. Because even though I'm still just starting out in this profession, it's a profession that I want to love long term. It's a profession that I want to, you know, feel stable in 20 years down the road. And to do that, I feel like you really need to protect your mental health set those boundaries so you don't burn out and in five years feel like you don't even want to be a vet anymore. Now talking about mental health in the veterinary profession, I am so excited to share the sponsor of today's video with you guys. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If the last seven months of being a vet has taught me anything, it's that finding a work-life balance is so important to my mental health in and out of the profession, which is why it is one of my main goals for 2024. Therapy has been a great tool as a new grad as it allows me to work through the challenges of the profession in a safe and comfortable setting. That is why I am so excited to have BetterHelp as a sponsor for today's video. BetterHelp made starting therapy easier and a lot less intimidating because of how easy it was to get started and matched with a licensed therapist. One of my favorite features is that if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you can switch therapists with the click of a button in your settings at no additional cost. It took me meeting with several therapists to find one that I felt like I connected with, and I didn't feel like I was ever breaking up with a therapist and then having to start over and search for a new one. So if you are a pre-vet, vet student, new grad, or even seasoned vet that's looking to add therapy into their 2024 routine, click the link in my description or visit betterhelp.com slash vetamanda. By clicking that link, not only does it help support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and improve your mental health journey in 2024. Thank you again to BetterHelp and let's jump back into my 2024 goals. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I'm a big advocate for talking about mental health in the veterinary profession, so I I am so happy to be partnering with them and hopefully giving you guys access to therapy if it's something you wanna add into your 2024 routine. It's definitely something that I will be adding into my 2024 routine. Now, some of the other actual veterinary goals that I have for myself for this coming year is that I really do wanna improve my surgical and my dental skills. I feel like I'm becoming a lot more proficient when it comes to surgery, like I'm speeding up, things are becoming a lot more second nature, my suture patterns are getting a lot easier, but even still, I do feel like I have a long way to go when it comes to 
my surgical and my dental skills. Dental skills specifically, so one of my goals for this year is to go to another dentistry CE course. Hopefully one this time that focuses a little bit more on extractions now that I feel like I have like a baseline knowledge when it comes to dentals. Also just expanding my repertoire when it comes to surgeries. Right now a lot of the surgeries that I'm doing are spays, neuters, lump removals. I've actually done two enucleations in my first six months of being a new grad, which I feel like is pretty cool. They're actually one of my favorite surgeries as a new grad, which is, you know, pretty sweet. My ophthalmologist professor would be very proud, I think. But I really would like to add some foreign body removal surgeries, some cystotomies into my surgical routine in 2024. The other thing that I'm doing that is like somewhat CE related is I'm actually making a like new grad reference guidebook for myself of all of my like common treatment protocols, some big things that I see. So ear infections, eye infections, and just like my protocol to treat them just as like a quick and easy reference for myself that if things get busy and I don't have time to use my brain, I can just like flip open this book and be like, okay, this is exactly what I do. Let me know if you guys would be interested in one page case summaries of how I treat some of like the big things, ear infections, eye infections, all those things. And if you feel like that would be helpful for you as a new grad, especially if you are like a third or fourth year vet student, either going into clinics or starting out in the profession, maybe I can make something that, you know, we can all use going forward. Finally, my last big goal revolving around the veterinary profession in 2024 is to actually look into at-home euthanasia services. Now, this might come to a shock for you guys because my very first vlog that I posted about my first week as a new grad vet, I talked pretty openly about how my first euthanasia was a pretty emotional experience for me and I actually cried to you guys on video about it. With that being said, having done, you know, a number of euthanasias at this point, almost eight months in, it's actually a part of the profession that I'm very grateful for and I do really enjoy being that that person for someone going through a really difficult time. And I think down the road, not anytime soon, one of my aspirations as a vet is to be able to provide that at-home euthanasia service. I've always liked the thought of owning my own business, but I never really have seen myself as a clinic owner down the road. So this would be a really cool way to open up my own business, be my own boss, but still not have the responsibility of owning a clinic and being a manager and things like that. So yeah, that's more of a long-term goal. Definitely will not be something that happens in 2024, but at least this year I want to look into it, see what options are out there, and then, you know, go from there. Well, those are some of my big goals for 2024 in the veterinary field. Like I said, it was really hard to sit down and pick like specific goals for myself because I do feel like I'm learning and growing every day. And even just little things have been goals for me, like being able to interpret my blood work on my own or being able to manage these more difficult cases and feel confident doing so. But I felt like these were really good baseline goals as a new grad just to focus on and definitely things that are achievable in 2024. So those are my preferred professional goals. Let's jump into some of my personal goals for 2024. Okay, so my personal goals are honestly where a big chunk of my goals and my goal setting energy went into, mostly because I'm learning very quickly I need to be a person outside of veterinary medicine and by setting goals that don't necessarily revolve around vet med, that revolve around my personal life, is a really good way for me to be able to focus a lot of energy into time outside of work. So we'll go through these pretty quickly and I'll let you guys know how January has been going for some of these goals. My first goal is that I do want to work out at least three times a week. Fitness has never been something that I've prioritized in the past, but I am trying really hard this year to just focus on my overall physical health and doing a dedicated workout at least three times a week has been my goal. But on top of that, I want to do at least some type of activity every single day, whether that be literally taking Link for a walk, whether it be shoveling the driveway in a Canadian winter, but just doing something to keep my body moving and keep me active. The other thing I'm trying to do that's revolving around my physical health is that I'm trying to drink water in the morning before I'm drinking my coffee. I have about a 45 minute commute to work and I've been trying really hard on my commute to work to drink my water so that when I get to work, I can have my coffee. I'm not really the type of person who ever eats breakfast. So a lot of the time, the only thing in my stomach until lunchtime is coffee. And I've just been finding having water before that almost makes me feel more energized than having just like straight up coffee as soon as I wake up. I've also been trying to make that water consumption be some type of green juice. This isn't sponsored, but I've been drinking athletic greens for almost a month now. And I do find that my energy levels are actually a lot higher when I drink my green juice. So as someone who's never been really into green juice, this one actually tastes quite good. Athletic greens. If you want to sponsor me, I would love to do that. Now this next one is one that kind of revolves around like work, but it's also just more so for my personal benefit. And that's meal prepping for work. This actually kind of ties into multiple goals just because one, it reduces me from eating out. I'm eating a lot healthier, which is good for my overall health. But another goal that I have 
have for 2024 is to become more financially smart. So obviously by not eating out and not going to Tim's on lunch, it's helping me save money for the future, but it's also allowing me to eat healthier and hopefully be more conscious about what I'm putting in my body. Cause you guys know how it is. I go to Tim's and I order something healthy, but then I see a chocolate chip muffin and I'm like, I might as well get a chocolate chip muffin or mm, I haven't had Timbits for a while. Maybe I should get a box of 10 Timbits and then I eat the 10 Timbits in one sitting. Multiple goals and multiple benefits of meal prepping for work. Side note, one of my like lifelong goals that I've now changed is to retire by 50. Will that happen? I don't know. Some of my other goals for 2024 is to read 15 books this year. Now I had set this goal for myself last year. I didn't quite reach it. I think I hit 12 books, 11 or 12, but honestly, I'm quite proud of that as someone who was in school for, you know, a decent chunk of last year. Being a university student, having to read 24 seven to study my lecture notes really killed my love for reading. And as a kid, I absolutely loved reading. And I was really sad that when I got to university, I just felt like I had no energy to pick up my favorite book and read it because I had just spent literally all day reading lecture slides. So that was one of my goals for last year, starting out once I had finished vet school was that I wanted to start reading again. And I wanted to, you know, find that love for reading that I had when I was a kid. And I feel like I definitely found it last year. Like I said, I read 12 books and I've set out to read 15 books again this year. And I'm hoping to actually hit that goal for this year. So far I have read a book and three quarters. I'm almost on my second book. And like I said, it's end of January. So I'm on a good pace to finish reading. I just finished reading Fourth Wing. I am obsessed. I've heard really good things about the A Court of Thorn and Roses series, Akatar. So I just bought that series and I'm gonna read that after I'm done. Iron Flame, I have like a hundred pages left to go. I'm just really happy that I've found my love for reading again. What other goals did I set for myself? The other goal that I had for 2024 that has not gone great so far is to spend more time outside. This I think will be more of a summer goal just because it's currently minus five outside and snowing. I'll be honest, I know I'm Canadian, but I'm just not a snow girly. The only reason I tolerate the snow is because Link loves it. Come summer, now that we have a backyard and now that we have a deck, my goal is to spend some time outside just being in nature, whether it be taking Link for a walk or literally just sitting out in the backyard reading versus, you know, coming home from work and sitting on the couch and watching TV. And then finally, my last goal, my last personal goal, I would say for 2024 is to spend more time connecting with family and friends. Life, I feel like just gets so busy and a lot of the times I finish work and I really just want to come home, like eat dinner, watch a TV show and then go to bed. So I'm really trying to utilize my weekends to stay connected with family and friends. I've actually been using my drives home from work to call family members, to call friends from vet school who don't live close. Every Tuesday, one of my best friends from vet school and I will call on my drive home and just update each other on what life has been like. I honestly, I look forward to these calls every single week. Love you, Julia. And this is one of the goals that I really do want to prioritize for 2024. So yeah, those are kind of my personal goals for 2024. The final set of goals that I set for myself for this upcoming year revolved around social media, around YouTube. And I just wanted to share those with you guys at the end of the video so you have an idea of what to look forward to this year. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've really been enjoying taking time for myself outside of working. In 2023, YouTube really got put on the back burner just with everything that was happening in my life, all of the new changes that I was going through. So my goal for 2024 is to be more consistent on YouTube. I don't wanna promise that there's gonna be weekly uploads because I still don't know if I'm going to commit to that, but my goal is to have at least two videos a month up here on YouTube revolving around vet school, life as a new grad, and keeping you updated on life with Link and giving you updates on that and maybe a new puppy in 2024. My plan for this year too is to hopefully create some digital content for you guys. I'm thinking about creating a course for vet school applications and just walking you through how to make yourself stand out as an applicant because the vet school application process, I'm sure as you guys know, if you are going through it is quite competitive. Also maybe like a Navali prep course, just talking about not so much like the content that you need to prep because there's plenty of prep sites out there like vet prep Zuku, things like that, but more so the mental prep that you need to do up until your Navali, how to organize yourself, things you know to know for day of that they don't talk to you about in those prep courses. So let me know if you guys would be interested in any of that digital content. And then finally, my last social media goal for 2024. This might be a big ask, but I'm putting it out in the universe. I'm putting it out here on YouTube, but I would love to hit 25K on YouTube in the upcoming year. We're almost at 20K, so I feel like it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but that's just more of like a personal accomplishment I would like to hit in the upcoming year. It's out there, it's on YouTube. You guys have heard it, maybe we'll make it happen. So there you guys have it. Those are my goals for the upcoming year in a professional as well as personal sense. Drop a comment down below for what one of your goals are for 2024. 
2024, whether it be a professional one revolving around vet school or the veterinary profession, or just a personal goal that you have, drinking more water, getting more sleep, um, cuddling a puppy every day, whatever that goal might be, let me know down below. If you guys haven't subscribed to this channel already, feel free to do that by clicking the subscribe button down below. Like this video, it definitely helps my channel. And you can also follow me over on Instagram at Your Vet Amanda. I would say I post more regularly there as well, just like daily updates. There's a lot more link on my Instagram. So if you wanna see cute puppy pictures, that's the place to find it. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.